Hey guys, it's Kate. Welcome to day four of Vlogoween. Today I am here with a mini haul and a collection video. And what I mean by that is I did yet again some more damage on Halloween apparel, but because it was only four t-shirts and I guess saying only four t-shirts is justifying my actions, but I did not want to make a whole video showing just four. So I thought what I would do is in addition to showing you those new four shirts, I would also show you all of the Halloween specific shirts and my one dress apparel that I have that I will be wearing throughout the rest of the month. And let's just go ahead and get started. I think it's super fun. I actually have everything in this basket that I purchased from Michael's probably almost a year ago now. This basket is pretty old, but the reason that I have this basket is this is actually all of my holiday wear, so it is my Halloween and my Christmas wear. I'm only going to show you Halloween, of course, but I don't have these hanging up in my closet because I do not wear them year-round, and that takes away hangers from other clothes that I do, so I have them all in this basket. We're going to go ahead and get started with this shirt. So this is the, if you see me looking over here, I actually have my mirrors from my closet right there. This is the Fall Pumpkin Fichua Tee from Grey Stuff & Co. And I have so many of their shirts. I'm sure I have shown them in plenty of videos. And this is perfect because the burgundy color is absolutely up my alley. It is just a fall pumpkin that has two smaller Mickey um, pumpkins on top to make it look like a Mickey Mouse head and then it has the fall foliage as kind of a crown on the pumpkin. So I think it's perfect for fall or Halloween. It's definitely more neutral. Um, the next couple of shirts I'm gonna show you by um, style of shirt. So first is tank tops. You guys have seen this one in my Target haul video that I showcased just yesterday. This is by the brand Fifth Sun and it was $12.99. And it is just a gray muscle tee with pumpkins all over the front and back, which I think, again, is a little more gender, not gender neutral. These are not baby clothes. <laughs> a little more neutral. You could wear this in the fall time, you know, September, October, kind of throughout those whole months, or um, Halloween specifically. This one is from the Disney Parks. This was actually their Halloween line from last year. And it is a black tank top and it features a silhouette of skeleton mini and the back has a large purple bow and this one I got on sale at the uh, character warehouse for $3.99 after Halloween last year so I thought that was a steal moving into t-shirts this is one of the new shirts that I got from Marshall's yesterday it is a candy corn a little bit of a boxier cropped tee. It is by the brand Messy Bun Just Chillin', so I'm sure just one of their, um, you know, off boutique brands. And this one was $9.99, and I just think it is adorable and can go. You can dress it up, you know, with some fun black, like leather leggings or something if you're wanting to make it look really cool. Or you can dress it really down with denim skirts, destroyed denim, things like that. This one is also new from Marshalls from yesterday. This one is white and has black trim along the neckline and the sleeves. It says current mood and has a vampire emoji and I think it is just too precious. This one is from the brand It Love Closet of Los Angeles. Regardless, this was $7.99. I thought just a really cute tee for Halloween. Now this one is from an Etsy shop and I'm going to link the Etsy shop links here because I do not remember the names of them because I bought them last year. I do know however that this shop is no longer open but I do think they sell this similar or if not the same design on other Etsy shops so if I can find it I will link that below as well but this one says Hitchhiking Ghosts, Jack and Sally, Pumpkin Mickey Ears, Spooktacular Castle Selfies, Halloween at Disney is simply meant to be. And I think that this is actually my favorite Halloween t-shirt that I own. I've worn it quite a bit. Moving on, this is the third Marshall tee I picked up yesterday. 
This is from that same brand, It Closet, I think is how you say that. It's a really pretty burnt orange tee. It's got black glitter bats all over the front, nothing on the back, and this tee was $9.99. So again, I mean like eight to $10 for a fun Halloween tee. I just think that you cannot beat that. This is my second Etsy or small shop tee. Again, I will have the name listed here as I got it last year and do not remember, but it is my only Haunted Mansion tee and it says I just came out to socialize and it is really cute. It's in a nice dark emerald forest green color. And then on the back you can see some haunting eyes looking out. So I really like this t-shirt as well. And this is um, the tee that I received in my Grim Grinning Ghosts bundle. Those were bundles of small shop or Etsy stores that contributed to a themed box that I was purchasing last year. I will link those down below as well if you're curious to see what I'm talking about. This is the fourth and final tee I got from Marshalls yesterday. It is again by that brand It Closet. It is $7.99. And it is a gray shirt with a white trim along the neckline and says fabulous with a little ghost on the left. And I just think, again, tucked into some really cute bottoms like a fun pair of leggings or a denim skirt with some fun tights. I just think that these are so nice and simple to dress up and add, you know, those festive accessories. This is my second Disney Park shirt. This is the one that I got for this year and it is this tee that is black with sleeves and has Mickey pumpkins, mini witch hats, spider webs, candy corn all over it. It is really sweet. Because it is Disney Parks it was more expensive. This was $36.99 but I am an annual pass holder so of course I got my discount and I did not want to take the chance that this would make it to Character Warehouse after Halloween this year. So, I mean, if I see it, I'm going to be like, because <laughs> I did not pay, you know, the Character Warehouse price. But I'm happy to have it in my collection now. This is also a Target shirt that I featured in my Target haul. This is from the brand Zoe and Liv, and it is Trick or Tacos, which just cracks me up. Um, it was $16.99. And it is a baseball style tee, so it is cream as the base and then has the orange sleeves. It also is a little bit of a burnout. You can kind of see through it a little bit, but that's nice for here in Florida because it's still hot in October, so it's nice not to have something so heavy. But moving on to something heavier, I do have this sweatshirt. This is from Grayson Threads, and this is actually identified as sleepwear, but I'm going to be wearing it out in public and it is a jack-o'-lantern sweater except instead of triangle or circle eyes he does have heart eyes which I think are so sweet and this one was $19.99 and just really cute I love it we are getting down to the end of my pile here this is my only spirit jersey that I have that is Halloween themed and this is one that I got from the Disney store this year it is completely plain on the front but it is a beautiful royal purple velvet but the back, of course, that's where all the pattern is on the spirit jerseys, is it says, I make the rules. And it has the Evil Queen, Maleficent, and Ursula. And along the sleeve, which is a little harder to show, it does have their icons or symbols, like the Poison Apple, Maleficent's horns, the Evil Queen's heart with her crown. That's also the Evil Queen's as well, the uh, mask in the mirror like mirror mirror on the wall and then I think that this is King Triton's I know it's not a spear it has a specific name but she takes it at the end um, when she is trying to rule the sea world she takes his Triton so I think that that's why that's on there this was $64.95 so definitely my most expensive piece of Halloween apparel but I'm a sucker for spirit jerseys and I think this is my fourth or fifth one <laughs> I have a serious problem. <laughs> My last piece of Halloween apparel is this dress from last year that just reminds me of Miss Frizzle. And if you do not know who Miss Frizzle is, she is a teacher from Magic School Bus and 
part of her character is that she's got crazy red hair and wears crazy print dresses depending on the unit that she's teaching them. So if they're going, if they're learning about space, she wears a crazy space planet constellation dress. She's really fun and I loved that show when I was young. This is by the brand Exhilaration. I don't remember how much it was because I bought it last year. I want to say it was around the $20 area. But again, it just reminds me of Miss Frizzle because of the pattern. It is completely covered in bats and moons and stars and squiggles. And I just think that it's really fun. And it, of course, is that kind of velvet, which is fun for this time of year, too. It does have long sleeves, but it is a mid-length dress, so it's not totally, totally hot. And I just wear this with little booties, and it's really comfortable and super fun for this time of year. But that is everything that I have that is Halloween apparel. This entire pile is ridiculous, but it's so fun. This is definitely just one of the ways that I love expressing myself during this time of year is by being very festive, not only in my home decor and my candles, but also in the clothes that I wear. So I hope you guys enjoyed it regardless. I hope I didn't go too fast. I just didn't want it to be a 30 minute long video. Um, and I will see you guys tomorrow. I hope you have a great day. Please give this a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you aren't already, and I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye! <laughs>